Hello, and welcome to The Works. I'm Ben Che. And I'm Ben Pelletier. Joining us later on the show is violinist Patrick Yim. Having performed with a number of renowned orchestras and musicians in the United States and around the world, Yim is currently an assistant professor in the Department of Music at Hong Kong Baptist University. He'll be here to talk about his upcoming recital in Taekwun and give us a taster. The art of metalwork made a major contribution to the development of the Bronze Age from roughly 3000 to 1000 BCE. Objects from that era recovered by archaeologists range from daily decorative and religious objects to weaponry made out of metals such as iron, copper, bronze, silver, gold and brass. Metalwork involves a variety of skills and techniques, including smelting, molding, hammering, embossing, chasing, gilding and inlaying. The art of metalwork is the focus of an ongoing exhibition and series of public programs put together by Crafts on Peel, a charitable organization that focuses on traditional craftsmanship. On show at Crafts on Peel until the 24th of July, the exhibition Creations Enlivened Metal showcases six metal craft collections created by collaborations between traditional craftsmen and women and contemporary artisans, as well as three solo metalwork collections by traditional and contemporary Japanese craftsmen. Chong 透過如果強師傅他是一位白鐵工藝的師傅,兩代一起合作,就做了現在你見到的這個藝術裝置,他一粒釘同一啲膠水都沒有,他全靠接骨這個工藝技術,將組件合拼。Another exhibit is an installation named Craftligraphy. It consists of 60 Chinese characters made up of copper sheets hanging from the ceiling placed before a calligraphic painting. It's the first time that contemporary artisan couple Nathan Wong and Hazel Lee have had the chance to collaborate with local calligrapher Feng Xiuhua, also known as Hua Go. Hey 華哥是一個很熱心的人,他也很讓我們的作品是一個靈魂在裡面 
。咁喺華哥嗰度寫完啲字之後，我哋就拎翻嚟我哋 studio 做埋餘下嘅步驟。睇完曬 check 好曬啦，覺得 OK 嘅時候咧，我哋就會將佢 print 出嚟，再將佢誒貼喺個銅片上面嘅。咁貼咗喺銅片上面之後咧，我哋就會、呃、首先就轉咗啲窿喺上面啦。咁我哋就可以用桌工去將誒呢啲窿窿位、呃、挑咗出嚟先嘅。咁之後我哋就再將成個字再。誒、呃、拆翻出嚟，咁就可以完成到一個字咯。咁但係我哋之後就會再做翻一啲清潔啊、打磨咁樣就誒成、呃、個字先至會完成嘅。咁其實呢六十個字裏邊包含咗啲誒金屬元素啊，譬如金銀銅咁樣。咁銅字同埋入邊有啲古字嘅。咁呢啲字我哋都想 present 到俾人睇，有啲 difference 係現代同古代咁樣啦，同埋一啲工具上，同埋一啲金工嘅技法。今次呢個展覽係比較藝術性高好多，我哋算係第一次參加。策展嗰邊都俾到好多意見我哋，令到我哋成件事更加圓滿啲。咁而家最後出嚟個形態其實係一個書法嘅一撇嚟嘅，同埋有唔同嘅間距 layer 嘅時候，令到你可以成件事立體啲啦。你去近距離觀賞嘅時候，又有啲光影唔同反光，咁我會令到、呃、有唔同感覺。因為我哋覺得銅係似係一種會識得同人或者同呢個環境去溝通嘅、呃、一種物料咯，就係、是、因為我哋可能每一日掂佢啊，誒將佢擺喺可能陽光底下照射啊，都會令到佢氧化嘅出嚟個樣會有少少唔同。啊呢樣嘢就好似其實佢好人性化咯，我哋會覺得，咁我哋就好中意，好似華哥嘅字。除咗我哋咁樣去表達出嚟之外，其實而家喺好多嘅街道都依然可以揾到佢嘅字跡嘅。咁所以其實就希望大家都可以繼續留意多啲、呃、身邊嘅環境啦。咁其實就可以會發掘到其實香港都依然係一個好充滿唔同文化嘅地方咯。With opportunities for travel either non-existent or limited over the past year by the COVID-19 pandemic. Wang Chonghei has spent much of the time recreating on canvas the idea of the experience of traveling while mostly being confined to home. On show at Touch Gallery, indoor traveling with objects showcases a series of paintings of his travels around the world by using Google Earth to create imaginary landscapes combined with different placement of objects. I自己過往都是畫開風景為主啦。平時出去郊外寫生呢，就係好想將嗰個行嘅過程啦，同埋見過嘅嘢呢，全部喺我一幅大畫裏邊可以出現翻。咁嗰個重組嘅過程係有
睇呢兩件陶瓷作品，然之後再睇我喺場上面我安排嘅作品嘅時候，誒、呃、觀眾係會嗰、那個心情都係會係放鬆啦，係會、呃、平靜啦，然之後有思考嘅嘅時候嘅。Welcome back. Violinist Patrick Yim made his solo debut with his hometown orchestra and one of America's oldest, the Honolulu Symphony Orchestra. Sadly, since then, the Honolulu Symphony has had to declare bankruptcy and has risen from the ashes as a Hawaii Symphony Orchestra. But Patrick has gone from strength to strength. Having performed in venues all around the world and with a wide range of musicians, he's currently an assistant professor in the Department of Music at Hong Kong Baptist University. He's preparing an upcoming solo recital in Tycoon's new music program, Spotlight, and he's here to tell us more. So, Patrick, it's great to have you here in the studio. Thanks for coming in. I'd like to begin by asking you about this wonderful recital program that you've put together for the Taekwon series. You, you're, you're calling it Virtuoso or something along these lines, and、um, it really is quite an eclectic collection of works. Take me through the program. It's called Virtuosity, and I think normally when we hear a violin recital, we tend to hear maybe complete Bach solo violin partitas and sonatas. Or maybe the complete Paganini caprices, but what I wanted to do here was sort of take a survey of the solo violin repertoire, starting with some Bach,、um, who we tend to think of as starting this,、um, you know, genre, and then of course going to Paganini, have to include a little bit of him, and Eugène Isai is on the program too, great Belgian violinist and composer, who knew the instrument very well and sort of took it beyond what Paganini did. But I also have some lesser-heard works.、Um, Ma Sitong、uh, was a very prolific composer of violin works, and he himself was a violinist. So I have some of his solo vi violin sonata on the program, and then I have some Sariaho, bringing us sort of later into the present day, and three new works by Hong Kong composers. That must be quite an, an interesting component of putting the old with the new. And and also sort of exploring maybe the evolving definition of virtuosity as as it may have changed over the decades and centuries. Yes, I think the traditional concept of virtuosity is sort of playing really fast and really difficult music. And but I think I wanted to also look at the aspect of virtuosity that has to do with being able to manipulate and change the tone color. And so I wanted to explore that side of virtuosity. So in the Sariaho. Uh, which I'll play later in the program.、Um, there's a lot of change in timbre, moving the bow from the near the bridge to on the fingerboard. Also using some unpitched noise in addition to a lot of harmonics.、Um, and I wanted the composers, the three local composers, to write pieces that had to deal with that aspect of virtuosity, is playing with color, playing with.、Um, and so, what's interesting about this Taekwun. Recital is that it's sort of a two-part event. So the first night, which is on the 20th of April, will be a sort of a traditional violin recital. I'll play through all the pieces, and the second night, which is on the 21st,、um, I'm going to actually have a different format. I won't play through all the pieces, but I will play through the new pieces, and the three composers will be there, and they'll have will have a chance to talk about their works, what inspired it, and I'm also going to take some pieces from the full program. And pair them with the new works, and draw parallels, and sort of delve deeper into what they're doing now when they write these works. So, if, if we could understand a little bit better about your background, it seems like you have had a quite an eclectic、uh, mix of, of influences in your own musical background, which may also be reflected in this program that you've described at Taekwun. So, yeah, I was born in Hawaii, and I grew up there, and I I studied music there. Uh, with a member of the orchestra, local orchestra, Honolulu Symphony, and then I went to the Cleveland Institute of Music, and I had sort of a very traditional conservatory training. And then I went to Stony Brook. Stony Brook in New York is has sort of an emphasis on contemporary music, and so actually what we had to do was we play I think it's six recitals,、um, and you have to have basically one recital worth of contemporary music spread out throughout those、uh, six recitals. That's where I sort of jumped into、uh, the contemporary music, and 
uh, since I came to Hong Kong in 2017, um, that's been sort of a big thing that I've been doing is working with composers, uh, commissioning works and recording them. So I think it's helped me to see music interpret it from a compositional perspective. Um, and that's been a, a great advantage, I think. You've mentioned you're going to play the Sarajaho for us. What can you tell us about that piece? It's called The Nocturne, and it was written in memory of Ludoslavsky. So it's in 94. Sarajaho sort of got very interested in this spectralist type of music, uh, where you take a computer analysis of the sound spectrum. And so that's why she uses all these different kinds of colors, a lot of harmonics in her music, and as I said before, some unpitched sounds on the sound spectrum. And overall, the whole mood of it is quite contemplative and reflective, a little bit somber. Um, but I think despite having all these kinds of, you know, contemporary sounds, I think it's quite a moving piece. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> 